This week on Sealing with the Litzenbergers. Perfect weather, they've left all the hatches open. Very pretty day, and we got a Litzenberger. Time to go try to move the boat. This is your warning. This video contains content that might not be appropriate for all audiences. If you haven't been keeping up with our latest episodes, you'll be needing to know who some of the people are in this upcoming video. This is Shelby, Brad, and Gabe. They're fries! You'll learn this throughout the video, but Shelby has a huge heart and offered us their dock in Key Largo. She also loves iguanas and grew up on a sailboat, so she's got cruising in her blood. Brad, her partner, is a Porsche mechanic and captain of their boat, Falcor. He plays tough love dad sometimes, but he's actually a giant softie that goes above and beyond to lend a hand. Then there's Gabe. We call him Baby Beluga. He's new to sailing and just bought his very first boat, Little Chicken. He tried to name it something badass like Raging Eagle, but we all called it Little Chicken and it just stuck. He also has amazing Disney Prince hair that makes all the ladies swoon. <gasps> all three of them are awesome and you'll get to know them in a lot of the upcoming videos. So now you know. Enjoy the episode. Uh, one of the fuel lines is damaged. The the one that we changed out? No. Yeah. A different one. The, the original, and we'll bring this to you. Oh, that's the old one. Yeah, you want that to get the thing? Yeah, we're going to want that. A bag? I have a bag. Okay. Um, so that thing was leaking, which was the original issue, and then me trying to fix it fucked it up more by bending one of the fuel lines. Oh, so, so you. Line. Okay, so it's a different fuel line. Yeah. Okay. So obviously they're better at this than us because one, they go sailing, and two, they have a channel. It's more than no videos posted, but we're still judging because we went and bought parts and groceries and ate, and that wasn't filmed. And you guys want to see them do these things. So you want to see them eat and buy groceries and fix broken shit, right? That's why you're watching this channel is to watch what they do. So okay, I've been thoroughly shamed. Oh my god, I got all sorts of cool shit. I got these cool diapers to like help our bleeding engine survive for a little longer. Gabe, you're gonna come on and get some of these too. You should have bought a pile. Actually, you're gonna just buy better shade than mine. Uh, There's no oil in this. No, oh, you said it. There's nothing in it. <laughs> uh, I got this cool little thing, so I'll stop dropping a bolt in my build. Anything else? Today. Yeah, oh yeah, the magic magic touch. Uh, the old man at the uh, Napa fixed our flare on this. So that's <laughs> neato. Oh. And then we got other odds and ends of fitting. I liked it because I had to play the fitting game, and the guy did it for me. All right, we are headed to try. Try me. <laughs> and see if we can get their engine fixed so they can get to the slip. Perfect weather. They've left all the hatches open. It's good. I don't know how, but the foresight can get fucking rain jacket. Oh. Sorry guys, I don't run well. It's that old age thing. <laughs> get in! <laughs> They didn't even wear jackets. Like yeah, when I was on one of these yeah, problems, right? Even, like, they didn't and I wasn't given the memo or yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Go hustle, go! I won't leave my beers behind. No beer left behind. I refuse. It's alcohol beer. Live action. Oh man. And Tarka's engine. This is it. You got two mechanics. Well, you got equals oh, you got doubles the repair speed or the problems. <laughs> Who broke what today? In this mm. corner. Brad, what are you working on? I'm fixing a fuel line. Okay, we got a fuel line repair, judging by the tone, it's going poorly. And in this corner... Uh, fuel line repair. What do we got? Fuel Another fuel line repair. Mine's going well. I did give him the shittier one. <laughs> <laughs> by far. You know shit's real when B's taking over the engine repair. 
How many people does it take looking at a non-running engine to figure out why it's not running? You'd be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> How surprised would we be? Well, we got five, right? Probably six. In case you're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> All right, clear. He's whispering to you. <laughs> oh, stop. Having fun now. Hold on, stand by. Don't do anything. Stand by. That's not like she wants to go. You, you gotta believe the injection pump, right? Yeah. That sucks. Okay. Any more wrenches? Yeah, here we go. Hey! Woohoo! Good boys, Bradley. Yay! What was, what was it? What did we do? Why the fuel lines? Why got a shit? All right. Um, All right, get the next one. Yeah, wait, I want to see. All right, what? How about it? This is the stop solenoid. This is what shuts off your motor. Yeah, okay? yeah, yeah. Correct. It pulls on this cable. Yes. All right? Correct. On the back side of this cable, there's like a. You see where my finger is? It's yeah. touching the bracket. Like yeah. there's a little hook, this thing. Yeah. So at some point, this thing got hooked behind this fuel line. Okay. So it was holding your stop cable applied. Okay, so it was always uh, kind of stopped. So it, you couldn't, the engine wouldn't run because it, it your stop cable was still pulled. Okay, so the bleeding fuel line was just kind of a side thing. Why is this but little dripping shit over here? Fuel... So I think, I think if you try to run the engine with that thing pulled, I think it's gonna bypass fuel and leak out. And spray everywhere? That's my guess. So okay. that I, don't, I don't know that, that's my, that's my something? guess, is that okay. it's trying to bleed off fuel because it, it doesn't want to run. Oh, down the return lines and shit. Just every, everywhere. Yeah. Um, so why would the this line over here? That might have the... just, well, that was what I thought was the issue, but it was, it was, oh, it was, actually just... it was shitty. And broken. Yeah, that was leaky. But it, like, if that's leaking fuel, it's probably not a problem. It's only if it's sucking air that's a problem. Right. So that's that, yeah, fuel inside. fuel leaking is fine. Is air getting in the system was a problem. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, that shit's fucked. We should fix that. That's probably the problem. Uh, but it really, when we first discussed this thing was being difficult, that's where we should start started. If your engine was hard to stop, or it wouldn't yeah, shut yeah. off. So that thing, that either this thing's binding up, or this thing got caught on something. Yeah, bad, yeah. And it wouldn't pull all the way through because yeah. it's just an electric solenoid. When you hit it, it's a magnet. It goes, it yanks yeah. on, yanks on that cable. <laughs> the Litzenbergers. It's like a beautiful morning. We got diesel. We got hopefully a very pretty day. And we got a Litzenberger. Time to go try to move the boat. How was the night? Beautiful. Sunrise shot. Woo. Morning, Tarka. Karen! Oh. We're home.
Do you got this? I, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> let's, see, let's, let's see the other option. 